confuse him. But let me talk about the Santa Claus slide where we're living, this analogy. Uh, you know how the, you tell the child about Santa Claus and they're growing up and, you know, you have to decide when to tell them to the truth, when to break the lie or how that happens. Imagine that has been happening on a grand scale to us and our our creators and sub-creators above us are in that bind of how to tell us the truth when it's gone way too far. So they are backed into a corner in a sense with the Santa Claus lie. And they're trying to let the truth play out. So, in this very high video game, we are like the players here. We didn't make the game, we don't make the rules. And they have operations in the game that keep us veiled and keep us fooled. So, if we study something hard, they, in general, will allow it to manifest and become real and perpetrate the matrix. And <clears throat> you can see that in your personal intention when you pray or meditate or put your meditation to something and more importantly when two or more gather and put their meditation together it becomes very powerful. Right now that only happens for the money god when you arrange things for the money god. It's very hard to make it happen for a true thing, like Garvey Energy Project. People's mind is not strong enough. If people come together for Garvey Energy Project, they will be turned against each other. Just like we're all in this truth movement, you see people get together and hang out and different things, and they all get turned against each other and division and such. That's called enmity. It's another function of the high AI. But the um, getting to quantum entanglements. So basically in flat earth, they are missing the understanding and overstanding of the sentient nature of life and the sentient nature of light. Now what that means is you can only take an argument up to a certain point in quanta. It'll never be exact. When you go into quanta, it's never exact. As you look at it, it will change. So that's part of the nature of our reality. So if you want to make the quantum jump and get up to bringing the kingdom of heaven here on earth and really having a full understanding, don't be trapped in flat earth. It's moot in a guardian garden. Not as bad as what the Garden of Eden turned into or whatever with that, uh, that abomination mess or whatever happened that story. But the Flat Earth is another garden. It's a Kergardian garden. It's just going to keep you in a flux zone. So it's something good for you to graduate from. It's something good for you to go through and graduate from. But don't be trapped in the garden. Don't be trapped in the garden. Is that just coincidence that the way they have that logo is exactly the way it could lay out on, on a flat earth uh, structure? No, no, there's, there's no coincidence. The, the, the saying is, and I've said this before, and that is I believe in coincidences. I've just never seen one. Not not like this. Uh, it, the, the flag, the United Nations flag, for those of you uh, who don't know exactly um, what he's talking about, is that the United Nations flag, which was designed in 1946, the same year. Such an interesting quote there. <clears throat> it was... Um Truat interviewing Mark Sargent and Patricia Steer on COINTEL Radio Revolution. You know, the um, <clears throat> it's interesting that Mark would talk about coincidence there and understand there are no coincidences. Now, to 
take that to its heights and follow that meditation okay once you have um, entered into the flat earth or <clears throat> I prefer the enclosed or domed concept you see remember each concept is going to trap you at another level of mental slavery and you're going to develop another archon and you know another archon order and you're going to have a level of neo priests appear like YouTube is, is now the school for neo priests okay the new Pharisee level whatever to come to the people with different COINTEL news now flat earth it, everybody understands is a managed psyop when you see these things happen and you see them grow like they are they're managed psyops now whether people are paid or possessed is an argument that I don't want to get into too much anymore sometimes I do but these people here um, are certainly some of them possessed and some of them is handler for a possessed and whether the handler knows what it, that he's doing is different matters but the concept you see once you get into the, the dome and once you get into flat earth and you start to discern flat earth arguments and they get have a lot of when they have some disinfo arguments so, some made by their own misunderstanding which it, you know serves the Hegelian dialectic in dividing the flat earth or this concept and distracting and sending you into a Kirkardian garden you know, the operational agenda out of the near earth AI more than he Hegelian because the Hegelian is getting exposed. So you have the Ge Hegelian operations, but the Kickardian garden, where er all the arguments reach a moot point, okay, and helps their agenda because what it does, remember, they want to render you useless. The most important thing is to render humans useless and prevent them from community activism. Prevent them from actually loving their neighbor and actually in the real life, okay, achieving the kingdom and following the order. And love your, your enemy, whether it's your neighbor or not. So the agenda is to render humans useless in their reality. So let them play games in the hologram, okay? And their chi will be harvested and World War Three will happen and their children will turn into demons like we have a demon generation. Look at, look at what's happened. I don't know who can't wake up and see. From Columbine happened, people should have woken up and seen what was happening. But you can see we have worthless, worthless everywhere. But <clears throat> let me stay on point here about quantum entanglements. Um, okay, with flat earth though, before I forget this, what flat earthers, okay, once you, you're going to come into the dome, now you can stay in the dome and you can play in, in this level in the dome, or you can say, <clears throat> who's running the dome, who's the boss, who's running things? And, and what's this relationship between this world government which is keeping us in slavery and making us pay for water? <clears throat> so you can get to the real issues at hand or you can stay shopping. You can stay on the, the window shopping level with flat earth. Stay on the, your window shopping. You'll never get to anything. It's just window shopping on the flat earth unless you understand about his majesty's order and that free water should be here for people and free energy and that we have a hijacked level which is involved in so much satanic ritual serving elemental demons whole, holes in the matrix that they are exploiting okay to control us and now they've mastered my uh, technology to mind control us 
and to genetically control life. So, so we have the mastery of the technology. We've had the mastery of the spirit that was up there. Now technology has been occulting it. <clears throat> and technology has actually fully occulted and mastered. Okay? Things. So you worship false things. You're inside, you're inside a holographic reality. Okay? <clears throat> now, what flat earthers get confused about... Um, because they're not up to understanding that level and higher and higher where you get into okay <clears throat> the AI that is responsible for handing out your fingerprints in case you haven't realized it your fingerprints are unique in most respects in addition to other components that uniqueness is not a coincidence it's not an accident. It's not a coincidence. And these things are recorded and managed. And for all practical purposes, we are replicants. We are clones. Okay, our body is DNA coded from our parents in most cases, or whatever code was put there. And then we have a soul or a spirit which is being manipulated to other puppet strings and emotional levels. Okay, understand the spirit is puppeted through the mind control and, the, and uh, the emotions that run around the heart that are released by the mind.
private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, and that in these directions. Eh. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y uh, this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later explain. Después lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpson la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures for you. Enseñar algunos imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en en cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. 
Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be a big help. Uh, no solo para, bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So uh, it's... This is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have, have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpson. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. The four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpsons.
folgendem. Imprimir direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper. At least ten or better hundred. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimum 10 oder besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin-Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero. And the next time you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de Probina en un restaurante. Or maybe a tip in a restaurant. Oder Trinkgeld im Restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin, de direcciones de Bitcoin. When you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen druckt, auch die, äh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Adress-Schlüsseln, ähm, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de... Abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, uh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015. Plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin, eh, en estos cuatro años yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. 
Ähm, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin-Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld, Bitcoin, nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma, das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. En mi video antiguo. Currently and historically, opposed to secret society, secret oath, and a secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment. The pertinent fact far outweighs the dangers which are cited to justify it. Face the facts, join our hands, make a stand. Uh -huh. It's time to gather plans, get the shot, take the chance. Till there is no one left, stay correct to the death. They can't ever break a freedom, we will never let them. The corrupt politics is killing the system. Cynicism is it, and it's everything that you witness. They tell you what to think, make you believe that they're the realness. They feed us full of lies, and yet we always forgive them. Huh? It's all conspiracy, and if you're feeding in a witch, you're the puppet. The government's pulling strings from above you. It's time for the introduction to truth, and let's start a movement. We've all been brainwashed, they believe that we all are stupid. We believe in what we see, and whatever I right is a hearing. But if you look close, listen, gather your own opinion. You'll understand all the lies, lines, and what's between them. This world is not your oyster, this world is a fucking prison. Come on. happening in our nation. We want to stand up for the fear of assassination. So they strip us of everything. We stand there and just take it. We're scared to make a stand a false flag operation. Research Illuminati. Find out by 9-11. Uh -huh. You see they line their pockets. Don't believe the lies they tell us. Find to see the truth. Realize we need to do whatever it is we can to protect our livelihood. It's time for us to do when the conspiracy or not. They owe some explanations to the questions that we got. What are the skull and bones? What is flying beneath? All these secretive means got you lying between your teeth. What's with the build a burg? I'm burning your effigies. I'm praying a Lucifer. How sickness can you be? While all the time praying you believing in the beast just to keep up appearances within Christianity. Come on. Why we gotta stand for the new world proprieties? The evidence is clear. We're naive to the lie. 